How do you stay motivated with working out over a long period of time? What's up y'all, my name is Taryn and in this video we're gonna talk all about how to stay consistent with your workouts. All my life, I've wanted to be very fit. Probably since I was like 18 or 19, I've always had a vision for my dream bikini body. And I've always had a vision of myself to live a very healthy and active lifestyle. And for the most part, I've always lived a healthy lifestyle when it comes to like eating habits or mental health or spiritual health. But when it comes to fitness, that was just something that I always struggled with. I've never had drastic fitness results. I've never had like six pack abs or anything like that. And I never really got results along my fitness journey because I didn't understand how to be persistent. And so I know that a ton of people struggle with the same issues. So today I just wanna share with you guys some of the tips that have helped me to go from years of inconsistency to finally being able to stick with a workout routine and to commit to a lifestyle where exercising daily is just something that I do. What's interesting about exercise is that we all know the benefits of exercise are literally endless. We even know the feeling that we get after a good workout. You feel pretty incredible, right? Those endorphins or whatever those special hormones that are released, we can feel them, we feel good after an exercise. And we even know that if we just commit to exercising, that we have the power to heal what's unhealthy. We can start living a life with more energy and more enthusiasm and vitality and happiness. And so it's kind of crazy when you understand that one single habit can do all of these amazing things for your life and yet we still struggle to build the habit. And I have three action steps that I wanna share with you guys that has really helped me to commit to exercise. And to not just be committed to exercise, but to also be motivated and inspired to work out because I really enjoy my exercises. The first step that you can take to help you stay motivated with your exercises is to increase your desires. And so what do I mean by that? Your desire is just your will, your want of having this goal. And there's a powerful reason why you want to have strong desires because the stronger your desire is, the less resistance you will have to taking action. And so increasing your desire for having a fit body or a healthy lifestyle is something that you are going to continuously work on throughout your fitness journey. You want to always be increasing your desire. It just means that you want to want it bad. You should want to exercise. And so the first place to start is just with your why. Why do you want to exercise? Everybody has different goals and different reasons for why they want to be on a fitness journey. What is your why? If you're just exercising because this is what you know you should be doing, that's not a strong enough attachment because like I said earlier you can know all of the benefits of exercising and people can tell you all day that this is something that you should be doing but if you don't have a strong personal why a defined answer as to why you are going to commit to a lifestyle where you work out every day then you're not going to stick with the habit so you need to define your why all you have to do is write in your journal why do you want to be on a fitness journey? Why is fitness important for you? Why do you want to commit to exercising? And it's really beneficial for you to be able to go back and read in your own words why you want to be committed to a fitness journey. Another way that you can increase your desire is through having a vision board. And I like to do all of my vision boards on Pinterest because it's just really easy. You can always have it with you on your phone or on your iPad. And it's just always inspiring to be able to look at a vision board and it helps you to have some direction of where you're trying to go. Sometimes we're so far away from the point of the transformation of where we're trying to go that we can't see the vision fully for ourselves. So by just having a Pinterest vision board, you can just kind of see the direction that you want your journey to go in. And so it's really easy to just make a specific board for your health and fitness 
and pin things on it that inspire you. Maybe it's your dream body. Maybe it's the lifestyle that you want to have. Maybe it's the types of healthy foods you want to eat. Just incorporate all things health and fitness into one board. And from time to time, just go back through it and it will continuously inspire you throughout your journey. Another way to increase your desire is to surround yourself around like minds and to continuously learn about fitness and about exercise because it makes it easier to build habits when the people around you are also doing the same thing. You are like the sum total of the five people that you spend the most time around. And so if the five people that you spend the most time around don't exercise, then it's going to be harder for you to build the habit. Whereas if they all do, then it's going to be easier for you to build the habit. And so if you personally don't know people who live a fitness lifestyle that is what the internet is for that is what youtube is for make sure that you are following people who inspire you you want to surround yourself with information and knowledge and images of other people's journeys so you might want to watch a lot of fitness before and after videos on youtube you might want to learn about what types of exercises will be best for the body that you desire to have you really just want to immerse yourself in the thoughts of someone who does fitness this is what you do you are an exercising person <laughs> i was gonna say you're exercising mo yeah you are an exercising person so you want to surround yourself with those types of thoughts as you're working on increasing your desire you want to find ways that you can fall in love with fitness when you start working out think about the things that make the experience more enjoyable for you there's a ton of things that you can do to like make the exercise more fun more enjoyable make it something that you love to do and one way that you can do that is through the style of exercise that you're doing that might mean that you want to go running super early in the morning maybe you are someone who likes to go to yoga classes maybe you are someone who likes to lift weights maybe you like to do exercise routines at home maybe it's a mixture of a lot of different things whatever it is you want to find your style of exercise what kind of exercise fits in with your lifestyle and what do you enjoy doing and then do more of that some other things you can do to make your workouts more enjoyable is to get new workout clothes and i know that's very material but it works when you have on the uniform of the thing that you are trying to do it makes you even execute exercise better when you really like how you look when i first started my fitness journey i would just work out in whatever kind of little raggedy clothes that i had once i started to invest in gym clothes i was able to see myself more like not only see the physical form but i could see myself and visualize myself as a fit person as somebody who lives this lifestyle because it's like the imposter syndrome kind of went away when I changed the way that I started dressing when I work out. I like to dress like I'm somebody who works out every day when I'm working out because this is what I do. Enjoying the process of working out also includes your music and your environment, the time of day. There's so many things that you can do to really make your workout more enjoyable if you're somebody who doesn't enjoy working out because you feel like exercise is painful you're not trying to sweat you're not trying to you know be outside in the heat you're not trying to break a nail if that is the perspective that you have and the resistance that you have towards exercising then i'm going to encourage you to fall in love with the pain. Yes, I'm going to ask you to tap into your inner masochist and enjoy the pain of exercise because exercise is meant to work you. It's meant to push you. And there's something really transformative about pushing yourself past the limit of where you thought you could go and getting what um, David Goggins calls the second wind. It's the point where you feel like you have nothing left to give in the tank and some kind of way you get this second wind of energy that pushes you through even more. And the feeling of getting that second wind is very invigorating. And if you're doing 100 jumping jacks, and you feel like, good God, I can't do anymore. But some kind of way you push through and you get that second win and you can do another 20. Your confidence is gonna be boosted throughout the day. You're going to 
maybe even push yourself in other aspects of your life, you're gonna start to have more wins throughout your day because you pushed yourself through your exercise. And it makes you mentally stronger when you are able to push yourself through your physical challenges. So if you feel like you know exercise is just not enjoyable, I want you to challenge your perspective on what exactly about exercise isn't enjoyable. And if it's the literal physical part of it, you just really don't like to feel the burn and the pain, I want you to change your perspective. Look at that pain as something that's going to benefit your life. When I'm working out and I'm pushing myself, I'm so hungry. When I'm working out and I'm like pushing myself through a challenging part of the exercise, I like to look down on the pain. I like to laugh at it. I like to, you know, let the music just kind of carry me through whatever craziness that I'm pushing myself through because my best body and life awaits on the other side of this pain. So I want to challenge you to start to enjoy that pain. That was a really long action step and I promise that the other ones are going to be a lot faster. The second action step that you can take to stay motivated with your workouts is to commit to exercise every day. You know, sometimes we try to make different routines for our workouts like Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. I just like to commit to every day. That way it's non-negotiable. That way I don't have to think about am I supposed to be working out today or not? Or I missed yesterday. Am I supposed to work out today? No, 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 no. I make it really simple for myself. Do I have to work out today? Yes. The answer is always yes. It's non-negotiable. Even if all that I can do today is 25 jumping jacks. Even if all I can do today is go for a nice walk. I have made a commitment with myself to work out every day and that just simplifies everything for me. As far as creating a routine, what I've found over the years is that routines change all the time. So you need to be able to be flexible because something will come up and throw off your routine and that's usually where you fall off of your good habit of exercising. So instead of relying on a routine, what I like to do is I just commit to working out every day. And usually I work out around the same time, but if I am just going throughout my day and I feel a calling to go work out, that is what I go do. Like as soon as I have the urge to go work out and I have the ability to, I'm gonna go and work out because you just wanna get it done, you know? Point blank period, you have to take action, you have to get it done. That is the key to persistence. Persistence means doing it every day, whether you feel like it or not. Now, obviously, you want to feel like it because that makes the experience more enjoyable and it makes it more likely that you will actually stay committed. But ultimately, it is about commitment. So make the ultimate commitment that you will work out every day for the rest of your life. <laughs> And um, it's just like you are committed to eating a meal every day for the rest of your life. Exercise is just as important as eating food. So make sure that you have a serious commitment to the lifestyle and the routine by doing it every day. The third and final action step to help you stay motivated with your workouts is to track and document yourself. This has to be the most underrated slept on tip. Tracking yourself and documenting yourself is the number one way to stay committed to any goal. So you can track yourself really easily by putting it in your journal or in your phone. Just put a little check mark for the day or you can make a little note of what exercise you did. You wanna have really good documentation of your journey. Other ways that you can track and document your journey is through pictures and videos. This is super, super critical. If you are on a fitness journey, I recommend that you take pictures and videos of your progress at least once a week. Nothing is better than having documentation of your transformation journey because it is going to inspire you and motivate you to keep going. If you're on your fitness journey and you don't take documentation of your transformation, then as you're progressing, you only see what you see in the mirror. You only see kind of where you are now, but you don't have the ability to go back and reflect on how far you've come. And I don't think there's anything more inspiring 
than seeing yourself where you started and how far you've come. Everybody loves a fitness transformation story. Everybody loves to see before and after photos of somebody's transformation, right? Why do people love to see before and after? Because transformation is inspiring for others to take action. So imagine how inspired you will be if the transformation that you're witnessing is your own. It is very powerful to witness your own self-transformation journey, I highly recommend that you take pictures and videos of your journey. Take pictures of your body before and after. Take videos of you actually doing the exercises because I'm sure as you grow, you can do more reps, you can do more sets, your form is better. Like it's just amazing to be able to see yourself. And when you see yourself, you can reflect on things that you'd like to change, things that you would like to improve. And so it's just a really beneficial situation to record yourself. And honestly, if you are already taking photos and videos of yourself, I would highly encourage you to start a YouTube channel documenting your fitness journey because if you made a YouTube channel about it, then it's gonna kind of guarantee that you stay on your fitness journey because you'll need to make the content. And so imagine growing a YouTube channel and getting paid to transform your body and hit your goals. I mean, it doesn't really get better than that. Tracking and documenting your journey can be extremely beneficial and I think it's one of the biggest things that has helped me in my journey is just taking so many pictures and so many videos of myself it just keeps me motivated and keeps me going and I'm just loving the journey. And that's what it's really all about is just finding more enjoyment in the experience, committing to a lifestyle and then documenting the process. If you just keep rinsing and repeating that cycle, I guarantee you, you will finally be able to stick to your exercise routines and see the transformation that we all want. And so if you guys have any questions about fitness, then please let me know down in the comments and I will either respond to you in the comments or make a whole video about it. Thank you guys so much for watching and good luck on your fitness journey. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.